Well, when you think about bicycles, you probably think of metal and rubber. Not anymore. How about uh, bamboo? Africa 54's Paul Dio is here with the details. Paul? Uh, thanks, uh, Vincent. Uh, a startup farmer, Boomers International, a bicycle production company in Kumasi, Ghana, is generating a lot of interest and is rapidly becoming the leading producer of bamboo bicycles in West Africa. I recently visited uh, the farm and here is more. People are likely to ask uh, what kind of bike is that? And the answer is it's a bamboo bike. An improved version that was first unveiled in 2009. For those who dare to be bold, this bamboo bike has a striking design. One that commands attention. Voice of America was recently given behind the scenes exclusive wow. access. So let's take it for a road test. Boomers International is a subsidiary social enterprise of the Yansu project. The company is located in the Ashanti region of Ghana and it specializes in producing bamboo framed bicycles which are exported to countries around the world. Kwebena Danso is the CEO of Boomers International. Our whole focus is to train rural youth um, with the skills of building bamboo bicycles to, pro to give them employment and also um, be able to market this to support um, to market this on both on the international and the local market. Bicycles made from bamboo have been around for more than a century, but the demand has only increased in recent years. Today, Boomers International is seizing the opportunity to make use of this abundant natural resource and the company is investing in the sustainability and the development of the local communities. For every bike that is sold, a child in the rural area also gets education. So we're trying to promote education, support rural community development through education, empower these children in the rural communities by the sales of our bikes. John Mafo is the head of the technical team at Boomers International. I feel very happy. Because uh, without this company, I never thought I would be at even that place. Or uh, people would be much very interested in me in that way. So I'm very happy. Some other apprentices have had the pleasure of being trained up by Danso, who has given them the skills they need to build the eco-friendly bicycles. Okay, I take the inventory here. The tools they will be needing in a direction. Maybe they will be needing hardener to spray the bikes. I give, it to, I give it to them and I record it. Kwebena Danso says bamboo is the ideal crop to work with. It can be sustainably harvested and grows fast without needing pesticides. The process requires the bamboo to be dry for six months and reinforced with carbon fiber. All the bicycles are handmade, which is reflected in the price tag. This is a complete assembled bike made in Ghana here. This is the fork the steer, and then we've also provided light in case you are riding uh, in the evening or at night. Boomers International is already planning to expand the brand to sell on the local market. Bike analysts say Ghana's fast-growing population and rapid urban development means there are more cars on the road. But having locally manufactured bikes could ease the crash of people using public transportation. In my next report, I will showcase a latent DC-10 restaurant that was once Ghana Airways. But now this national treasure has been turned into a state-of-the-art restaurant where locals and tourists come to taste their authentic Ghanaian dishes. Back to you, Vincent. Well, thanks a lot, Paul. Good stuff there.